week is packed with adventure, natural wonders and unforgettable moments. We leave Paros and sail for two days. We then arrive at the vibrant Cos Island. There we hit the go-karting track and hire bikes to explore natural hot springs heated by a neighbouring island's active volcano. We soon set sail again and our voyage takes us to the awe-inspiring Nisiros Island, home to the active volcano. Brace yourselves as we venture into the heart of the volcano, descending into its crater for a truly epic experience. Later we explore Nisirios, discovering our very own slice of paradise reminiscent of Mykonos. Like and subscribe to follow along with our top line travels. If you're just joining us, this summer we have moved onto our Catamaran Lagoon 450 and are currently sailing the Mediterranean. The wind has started to howl and it is looking like it is going to be picking up over the next few days and unfortunately we're going to get the brunt of it as we need to start heading east to make it to Turkey by the end of this month. And the windy sail today begins. We've been sailing for two days now as we made our way from the Cyclade Islands, aka Taros, to Peloponnes Islands. We've Kalimna. Kalimna. So we've covered 60 kilometers yesterday, about 30 miles, 34 miles, and today we've covered 60 miles, about 100 
along. It's been hating the belt heavy the last few days, but it's played into our favour because it's been beautiful wind and we've sailed most of the way, uh, averaging in about six to seven knots, which is just beautiful. Marina is super chockers. Super busy. We are here for two nights and hopefully can stay for a third. Hopefully a few of these will leave so that we have the space to stay. If you've been following us for a while, you would have seen a few weeks ago, I crashed the drone in Milos. Go and check out the video here. Fast forward to today, we're in Cos Marina where we've ordered our new DJI Mini 3 Pro to be dropped off. We received our drone, really excited to get our hands on it. Now that we have our new drone, we are going to do its first sunset flight over the castle behind me. How quiet is it? Oh, it's so quiet. Look at this insane screen. Dude, the image quality is out of this world. 10 times better than the iPhone screen. Narancia Castle, also known as the Castle of Knights, is a prominent landmark in Coz Town, providing panoramic views of the surrounding area and fascinating history into the island's medieval heritage. Coz Island has charming villages, delicious Greek cuisine and a pumping nightlife. Whether you're interested in history, shopping or simply unwinding by the Aegean Sea, Coz offers a diverse range of activities to make a holiday one to remember. We have looked into it and it is five euros to hire bikes in Coz for the days. Because it's so cheap, we have decided that is exactly what we're going to do today. We're gonna hire five Euro bikes and go and explore the island. Are you ready? ready Making our way to the southeasterly tip of Coz Island. We've been told about some hot springs that we need to check out. The island's diverse landscapes range from sandy beaches to lush greenery and is a haven for cyclists with numerous biking trails that allow you to explore its scenic countryside and archaeological sites at your own pace. From this viewpoint you can see mainland Turkey out on the horizon. The thermal hot spring, you'll come across a car park, you can park your bikes up and then you can cafe. Then you make your way down the hill to the spring. So when you get down that cliff, there are a few spots to bring your car. Now we're at the bottom and there's a whole lot of little umbrellas and places to sit and then I think the hot spring a little bit further that way. The sheer size of these cliffs along the beach is just wild. Hot. I have to keep my shoes on because it is burning and the water is super hot. I just had a little touch. We're going to go and check it out and see. So, rain's over there in this boiling, boiling water. Oh, it's a bit less hot, but she's like going to come out fully. Temperature. It's actually so hot though, I can't believe it. Rain's yeah, face is gone already. Yeah, it's so hot, I've started sweating. We have gone into the ocean to cool down because it is so hot. I was speaking to a local and basically the way that this spring is works is that there's an active volcano on an island 40 minutes south and there is an underwater tunnel that leads from that island and that active volcano all the way to this beach pretty impressive and super super hot I can't even believe it and when you do come out here brace yourself for the smell of rotten eggs because this place 
streaks of it due to all of the sulfur. So this is the track we've come across on our way home to the boat. Here's the mechanic shop. Just filling up the vehicles, ready for the Grand Prix. In car 10 we have Bradley. Yes, in car 3 we have Bravo. And in car 1 we have Dustin. <laughs> This is honestly the most entertaining thing ever. The boys are about to do a race. They are lining up on the straight as we speak. Let's go. Lap two, and Travis seems to be winning. It's close. Travis is still leading, but Brad is hot on his trail. Yeah! <laughs> A few moments later. <laughs> that is seriously dangerous, I'm sorry. I didn't have any shoes on, no shirt, there's no regulations whatsoever here. It's like whatever goes and my ass is scraping along the bottom of the floor the whole time. So we check. No pain, no gain. <laughs> so I think I won three races. <laughs> <laughs> we've handed back our bikes and now we're gonna go for a swim because we're all dusty. So after visiting the hot springs the other day here on Cos Island, we were interested to find out more about that live volcano. So I did some research and it looks like that volcano is on Nasiros Island. So we're gonna take the boat today and head to that island and check out the volcano. Lucky laugh, thank you. And another scooter hire on the island of Fur is on the bikes. Stopped for a quick look out and now our scooter won't start. The battery on this bow boy is gone, so we've got to kickstart it. Oh, come on! Oh, there she is! Told by locals, there is a natural sauna which is fueled by the volcano. So we're currently walking there now, and this is the natural sauna. Holy, it is so hot in here. Is it crazy? Oh, that's wild. Where's the heat coming from? The volcano! The volcano. Woo She's warm in here. Currently sitting in the natural sauna and it is insane. It is 60 degrees in yeah. here. I have already started to sweat and it's completely fueled by the active volcano that is on this island. Which is just behind us where we're about to walk up to the viewing point of the village that looks down into the volcano. We're walking through Embro Rio. No, 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 Embro Rio. Rio. That's it. To the volcano viewpoint, which is right here. I've seen the sign. Ooh that is a very good view. We have stopped in at the balcony, which is a little restaurant overlooking the volcano. made it to the entry of the volcano. It is three euros to go and walk into the craters. And behind me is Stefano Crater. And it is huge. We're in the caldera, which is the 
area between all of the mountains that surround us at the moment. And now we're gonna head down into the crater itself. That is honestly terrifying. And we're in the crater, this is so crazy. There's no wind, it's dead still, dead quiet. It's a bit eerie to be honest. Yeah. Stefanos is one of the youngest and most active hydrothermal systems in the world. The impressive volcanic crater emits sulfur gases, providing a surreal and otherworldly experience. I 120% recommend getting your bums here because this is honestly out of this world. I would come at this time of the day though because there is literally no shade anywhere and it would be stinking hot, especially with all the gases in the air. Making the steep incline up to one of the craters here. It's a bit windy, started to smell a lot more like sulfur. It's amazing. Serious steam coming off of these rocks. Made it to the top of the volcano behind us. Man, it's so cool out here. The volcanic activity has created unique geological formations and colourful mineral deposits, making the Syros a fascinating destination. Get it back to the boat. What a successful day. Walking the little streets of the town of Nikia. And it is super cute, very touristy, but also very small. I think it's literally two little streets. And we're now hiking up to the church just here, which the local says has one of the best views of the whole caldera. There's a lot of stairs to get up to this church. I am puffed, but it looks like the view just keeps getting better and better every step up we take. We made it to the church. Woo. Such a cute little church too. Okay, no views this side. Ocean views that side. What's amazing is yesterday we were able to skip the crowds. There's quite a few people in that crater now, but we had it all to ourselves at sunset. for a little date night on this volcanic island. We are headed to a coastal town to watch the sunset and have a few drinks. Well, we have found our very own Mykonos. It is so beautiful and the water laps right up to your feet. Yes. <laughs> this place is a little Mykonos and it is one third of the price. We have found a gorgeous little spot on the promenade. We're going to watch the sun go down and drink some awesome cocktails. Next week, our journey kicks off in Kalimnos, where the subtle traces of Turkish influence start to reveal themselves. Exploring a charming fishing village, we chance upon a hidden swing, igniting the spirit of our upcoming adventure. Sailing from Greece to Bodrum, Turkey, we immerse ourselves in the Turkish way of life, 
indulging in traditional shopping, baths and tea. As winter approaches, we prepare our catamaran for dry dock, pack our bags and set the stage for our next grand expedition. Stay tuned to discover which continent we'll be exploring next. And don't forget to like and subscribe to join us on our top line travels.